Hey everyone, it's Kat here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be seeing something a little bit different than what I've uploaded to my channel. Of course, in the gallery I do have some modern house builds, but this will be the first modern house build that I upload. Um, yeah, so like the name implies, it's Nuketown, of course inspired from Call of Duty, and the build is ultra modern. I wish I had downloaded um, Spade and cool kitchen i think it's called um before i actually built this house i've noticed in a lot of building videos from other youtubers that those two um expansion packs have a ton of modern build mode objects especially paintings and stuff which i struggled with a little bit in this build so i am going to do another nuketown build it will be a little bit different than this one of course um with a different design but it will probably be in the same neighborhood and maybe even next door so you might get a little glimpse of this build but yeah so like I was saying um, I wish I had those two expansion packs so I'm going to incorporate those into the next build and those builds are kind of gonna be centered around those two expansions so in the kitchen of my next building I'm definitely going to focus on cool kitchen and throughout the house I'm gonna focus a little bit more on spa day items I might even do a spa inspired build I know that's been done a million times but I think it would be a little bit fun I'm surprised I don't actually have them Unfortunately, I lost this video the first time I did it and I only got the first half so I kept the first half and I had to go through and delete all the items in the house just so that I could refurnish it and get that video up for you guys. Um, I do leave up all the paint and everything on the walls so you don't get to see me pick out the designs for the walls unfortunately. In the next Nuketown build I promise that will be incorporated but for this one I really just was a little bit lazy and did not feel like going back through and painting the walls again and I really liked the initial look of the house so I just go back and refurnish it for you guys. Um, the back deck and I think the front of the house you don't get to see me furnish. I didn't think that those were really integral parts of this build so I didn't see it as being that big of a deal. I am sorry if you guys do um, feel like you missed out on part of this building because it did get so messed up but yeah it ended up coming out all black so I don't know what happened to my screen capture software. I am new to this program that I'm using. Um, and the program that I am using is linked in my video, or not linked, just mentioned. So if you did want to check out the program that I'm using, feel free to. But yeah, so it did glitch out a little bit and I lost a lot of this video and I had to redo it a few times. So this is actually the second time recording the sound for it as well because the sound wouldn't have matched um, this video if I just added it to because it could have taken a little bit less time or more time furnishing if that makes any at all sense to you guys which very well could not make any sense but yeah I went with really bright colors um, this building I guess is more inspired by the new uh, Call of Duty than the older ones well the new Nuketown Call of Duty than the older Nuketown Call of Duty um, although it could be translated to either of them or the items could be you know kind of universal in both of those call of duties but yeah just kind of throwing in some more objects here it does change a little bit from the initial design i try to yeah i got a little bit brighter of a yellow and i think that turned out better in the end and i changed that little lamp um, some of the video at the end, because I do put video up of my sims living in here and the family I built, and I will put the family on the gallery too if you wanted to play this house with that family. I think they're the Tylers is the name I went with. Don't ask why I went with that name, it was just kind of a random name that I had picked out. Yeah, changing up the colors again, um, and kind of throwing in some more towels and little elements like that into the house at this point. And of course, this is just the bottom of the house, so you do see me furnish the top. I really like how the bedrooms turned out, which we'll talk about a little bit more when we get there. And I change up the kitchen a little, making it bigger. I'm probably going to play in this house a little bit more. It's a pretty fun house, and the colors are so bright, and the screenshots are so pretty in the end. So I'm pretty proud with how this build turned out. I am still getting over my flu or cold, I don't know what it is, but I got it while I was on vacation or kind of, I, I guess I'd call it a vacation, but I'm seeing my family up north 
and I've been sick for the entire two weeks I was up there, which is pretty awful, but I still had a good time and a great Christmas, so it kind of equals itself out. Nice little pause here. I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. I guess we'll just wait for the bill to continue. I'll just keep talking. But yeah, so I probably sound a little bit funny or a little bit different. And finally, you see me click something. Oh, and there we go. Okay. Yeah, so now we're back to building the actual house. And throwing in some more objects. I really like that little egg chair that I threw in there. It's red and black in the corner. Um, and of course, this could be a girl's room or a boy's room. More teenager, though than kind of toddler or small obviously there isn't a crib in this house either but you could um, change the office to another bedroom if you really wanted to play this house and yeah so still kind of throwing in a little some other objects um this one could be a little boys room too i don't think pink is usually like a lot of people say that pink's a girl's color but who really cares i don't like to kind of put labels on it so it could be a little girl's or a little boys room but it's probably for around like i guess a child than a teenager i mean it could be a teen's room i would have liked that room when i was a teenager my favorite color is pink though so i always do like a pink room in my houses and I love those blue and green curtains. Those were just so much fun to throw in here. And yeah, making a nice little office. I thought that I had originally lost the video of me furnishing the upstairs, so I'm so glad I ended up finding it because I would have been so disappointed if I had to tell you guys that I lost over half the video and had to redo it so many times. But yeah, so thank goodness I found that video. I've been just like transitioning into this new computer and figuring it out because of course I used to have a Mac and then I went to PC and then my PC crashed in under a year so I went back to Mac. Um, I mean nothing against PC, it could have very well been programs that I had downloaded or anything like that and I'm trying to recover my hard drive so I've been like saving things and deleting things and moving things around a lot so that's probably why I lost the video, more my fault than my computer's. I love that, that little, like, it's like the life ring and the pool cleaner tool, I, the net, I guess. But yeah, so there's the outside, and I guess this would be around the end of the video, changing it a little bit. And here are my screenshots. So you can definitely turn off the video now if you just wanted to see the house building portion. It was sped up to 20 times. I didn't want to leave it to 8 times because then the video would be over 20 minutes and I thought that was a little bit too long. But yeah, these are just the screenshots of the house and then at the end of the video there's a little bit of the family that I built for the house living and kind of moving around in it. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end my talking here because my voice feels like it is on fire again, or I guess my throat's on fire. So once again, sorry you didn't get to see me furnish the front outside of the house. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like the screenshots, and I hope you guys like the video of the family playing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate every single one of your views, and if you'd like to, definitely subscribe. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys!